Okay, we're back at the Minnesota Horse Training Academy again. Here's another horse I've got about 22 days on today. He rode, he's got a little hump in his back. Uh, he's got a little buck, but he always feels like he's good when he first get on. He's getting a lot better. Um, we're going to show a little trailer loading again. The control I want, I want to be able to send them in from a distance. I want to have control at the trailer. MNHorseTrainingAcademy.com. MN Horse Training Academy. We have the best program in the industry. We guarantee it. Money back and we let you decide. Only school that's kind in the world. You're going to learn what the other schools don't know here. Ready? Hold up. That's kind of the... I want to be able to send the horse in the trailer. I still get a kick out of it because I had a student come here and she said, there's no way you're ever going to get my horse in a trailer. I said, why is that? She said, because on the way here, it took us all day to get him in a trailer. We swerved to miss a deer and he got hurt and he won't even go near the trailer. We laughed. After the first week of class, the horse got loose. We're looking all over for it. Guess where we found the horse? In the trailer is where we found the horse after we looked around all over the place. Yeah. Okay. I want to have control right there. I want that animal to freeze without me even saying anything. That's a, that is a horse's panic spot. And I want that animal, if I tell him to get back in, you get back in. And that's what I'm going to do. I want that horse tuned into me, not thinking for himself. Horses that think for themselves are dangerous. Okay, now I'm going to back them out halfway again. Now, if I choose to, I will continue to back him up. And if I change my mind, he will get back in. That's the kind of control I want to see in a trailer. Again, horses that think for themselves are dangerous. That animal should be tuned to you, looking at you for guidance. Every step. If I want to back out a little bit, I can back out a little bit. If I want to back out all the way, if I tell him to get back in, he gets back in. The horse should be tuned in to you. If I want him to stop right here oh. and stand there and behave, he should stop right there and stand there and behave until he's told to do something different. Okay, now I'm going to continue to back him. And I may just back him up a little further. Okay, let's go do the pickup. Okay, we're at the pickup. Okay. Okay, I like to take him right from the horse trailer to the pickup truck. Again, I want manners. I want control. I don't want a horse up there thinking for himself. It's dangerous. Uh, you can actually train a horse to jump in a pickup truck as the truck drives away. I've done it. It's not that hard. Uh, you learn it at the Minnesota Horse Training Academy. If you go to my website, you can see a horse jumping in a pickup as it drives away. MNHorseTrainingAcademy.com And you can see a horse jumping in the pickup as it drives away. In fact, Jason Davis came out with a film crew to film it. It took me, I don't know, 20 minutes to teach the horse with the proper foundation. Not that big a deal. Come on, okay, we're going to send this guy in the pickup. And again, I want manners. I want a horse gets up there. I want a horse that gets up there and is calm, relaxed, and behaves. Doesn't act stupid. I want a horse that is not an idiot when he's doing stuff. Incidentally, horses are smarter than dogs. I've said that for years to students. Dogs have always been my hobby. Horses have always been my living. And horses are smarter than dogs. If you don't believe me, go to Animal Planet and look up their top ten countdown on the smartest animals. They put horses two ahead of dogs. The problem isn't horses. The problem's people. Ready? Okay.
to another one. Oh, another one we've got 22 games on. Uh, well, we'll hope for the back. Never really bucked. He's got to get. Has to shut him down. He's coming along pretty nice. Pretty happy. Man. He's got about 22 games. I'm just going to try to run him through some of the things we found. Again, flag to me is real important. When I was a kid, we went to the to the uh, parade, and we didn't have two horses that carried a flag. We had horses bucking, rearing, snorting, side passing. It looked like Keystone cops on horseback. We didn't have two horses. We had those horses
after him. And I didn't mention both the buckskin and this one are started to park out. I've had them both park out nice for me. They're not consistent. I'm not even going to film it yet. We started our desensitizing DVDs. You're here, here right now on 40. That goes up to 60 some. Way louder. Trains, vessels, swarms, everything. By the, end, by the end of next month, we'll have that thing cranked up the whole way while we're working. Everything from jackhammers to air horns to freight uh, And I've started a bunch of other little things here that I want to follow up on. Uh, this guy here, we're probably going to train to drive here next month. So I've been doing things to build an association or foundation for driving that's going to help us next month. <laughs> but they're off to a nice start. The things they're learning now that you've seen need to be drove home and made a good habit. 